The United States Air Force's 341st Missile Wing is an intercontinental ballistic missile unit headquartered at Malmstrom Air Force Base, Montana. Up until 1 July 2008, it was designated as the 341st Space Wing. Established as a World War II 10th Air Force North American B-25 Mitchell Bomb Group in India, the unit served as part of Strategic Air Command during the early part of the Cold War as a Boeing B-47 Stratojet Wing, before becoming an Intercontinental Ballistic Missile Unit in 1962. Today, the 341st is one of three remaining United States Air Force wings that maintain and operate the LGM-30 Minuteman III Intercontinental Ballistic Missile. Mission <inaudible> 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 The 341st Missile Wing reports directly to 20th Air Force, FE. Warren Air Force Base, Wyoming, and is part of Air Force Global Strike Command, headquartered at Barksdale Air Force Base, Louisiana. The mission of the 341st Missile Wing is to defend America with safe, secure, effective nuclear forces and combat-ready airmen. Topic: <laughs> Subordinate Units. The 341st Missile Wing is made up of a wing staff and five groups, the 341st Operations Group, 341st Maintenance Group, 341st Mission Support Group, 341st Security Forces Group and 341st Medical Group. The base is also host to two tenant units, the 819th Red Horse Squadron and the 40th Helicopter Squadron part of the 582d Helicopter Group. 341st Operations Group 10th Missile Squadron 12th Missile Squadron 490th Missile Squadron 341st Operations Support Squadron The 564th Missile Squadron served with the wing from 1967 to 2008. The 341st Security Forces Group is the largest security forces group in the USAF. The units of the 341st Security Forces Group include the 341st Security Forces Squadron, 341st Missile Security Forces Squadron, 741st Missile Security Forces Squadron, 841st Missile Security Forces Squadron, and 341st Security Support Squadron. History Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II The 341st Missile Wing has its origins in the China Burma India theater of World War II being activated in India on the 15th of September 1942 the unit was one of the first bomber units in the CBI, being equipped with B-25 Mitchell medium bombers which were shipped from the United States to Karachi. The aircraft were readied for flight operations by Air Technical Service Command at Karachi Air Depot and dispatched to Chakulia Airfield, now in Bangladesh in December. The group was formed with two bomb squadrons 11th, 22D, which had been attached to the 7th Bombardment Group since May 1942, and two newly activated squadrons 490th and 491st Bombardment Squadrons. The 11th Bombardment Squadron was already in China, having flown combat missions with China Air Task Force since 1 July 1942. Planes and crews of the 22D Bombardment Squadron had been flying recon and tactical missions over North and Central Burma, also since July. The group entered combat early in 1943 and operated chiefly against enemy transportation in Central Burma until 1944. It bombed bridges, locomotives, railroad yards, and other targets to delay movement of supplies to the Japanese troops fighting in northern Burma. 
The 341st Bomb Group usually functioned as if it were two groups and for a time as three. Soon after its activation in September 1942, 341st Bomb Group headquarters and three of its squadrons, the 22d, 490th and 491st, were stationed and operating in India under direction of the 10th Air Force, while the 11th Squadron was stationed and operating in China under direction of the China Air Task Force, which was later reorganized and reinforced to become the 14th Air Force. Fourteen months later the group headquarters along with 22D and the 491st Squadrons joined the 11th Squadron under the command of 69th Composite Wing, 14th Air Force. 341st Group HQ was Kunming and the 22D and 491st were at Yankai, while the 11th continued to be based at Kuailin, attached to the 68th Composite Wing. However, the 490th. Burma Bridge Busters", remained in India, under the command of Major General Howard Davidson's 10th Air Force. Still later the 11th Squadron and a detachment of the 491st operated for a time under the East China Task Force. From several airfields in China the group engaged primarily in attacking enemy concentrations and storage areas and in conducting sea sweeps and attacks against inland shipping. They also bombed and strafed such targets as trains, harbors, and railroads in French Indochina and the Canton Hong Kong area of China. Received a duke for developing and using a special blip bombing technique against enemy bridges in French Indochina. It was inactivated on 2 November 1945, the day after group and squadron personnel debarked at Newark, New Jersey. Topic. Bombardment Wing Reactivated in September 1955 at Abilene Air, Air Force Base Texas as a Strategic Air Command Boeing B-47E Stratojet unit which were designed to carry nuclear weapons and to penetrate Soviet air defenses with its high operational ceiling and near supersonic speed. The 341st flew the B-47 in training missions and participated in various SAC exercises and deployments with the Stratojet to bases in Morocco and England designed for forward deployments. Also controlled a KC-97 Stratotanker squadron to provide air refueling for B-47 operations. In 1958 after the loss of some aircraft in clandestine Cold War operations, it was believed that Soviet air defenses had caught up to the ability of the B-47 to successfully penetrate Soviet airspace if called to combat duty. The Stratojet began to be phased out of the inventory and the 341st Bomb Wing began sending its aircraft to storage at Davis Monthan AFB in 1961. The unit was inactivated on the 25th of June. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Strategic Missile Wing. On the 15th of July 1961, the 341st was reactivated as the 341st Strategic Missile Wing. A year later, in late July 1962, the first LGM 30A Minuteman IICBM arrived at Malmstrom and was placed at Alpha 9 launch facility. The 10th Strategic Missile Squadron SMS accepted its final missile on 28 February 1963. Two months later, the 12th SMS became 100% combat ready. In July, the 490th SMS became fully operational, giving the 341st SMW responsibility for 150 silos. In August 1964, the Air Force announced plans to build an additional 50 silos assigned to the 341st to house LGM 30F Minuteman II missiles. As construction of these new silos proceeded through 1966, the 564th Strategic Missile Squadron stood up on 1 April 1966. Just over a year later America's 1000th Minuteman missile would be in place and on alert at Malmstrom. 
This milestone marked the completion of Minuteman deployment by the United States. While new Minuteman IIs deployed with the 564th, upgrading of the Minuteman I models had been ongoing with the wing starting a transition from A to B models in August 1964. By June 1969, all Minuteman is both A and B models were replaced by Minuteman II models. In 1975, the 564th SMS switched from the Minuteman II to the LGM 30G Minuteman III model. In November 1975, the wing began an integrated improvement program that included a command data buffer and an improved launch control system. In 1985, the 341st SMW became the lead unit in the Minuteman Integrated Life Extension Program. Rivet Mile. While serving as a deterrent force, the 341st SMW won numerous honors. The unit won its first Blanchard Trophy in SAC's annual Olympic Arena missile competition in 1976 and again captured this most coveted prize in 1986, 1990, and 1991. The unit has won additional accolades over the years. On 28 September 1991, President Bush ordered all Minuteman IIs off alert status. This order affected three quarters of the 200 ICBMs assigned to the 341st SMW. On 1 September 1991 the 341st SMW was redesignated simply a missile wing, part of Strategic Air Command's 20th Air Force. As such it apparently became the only formation designated a «missile wing» ever assigned to SAC. The 341st Missile Wing was reassigned from SAC to the 8th Air Force of Air Combat Command on 31 May 1992. In accordance with the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty start, on 28 September 1991, the 341st Missile Wing began taking its Minuteman IIs off alert and began deactivation of the missiles. 150 Minuteman II missiles were removed from their silos. 50 of the vacated silos received Minuteman III missiles, joining the 50 Minuteman III missiles already on alert status. This conversion was completed by 1994. In March 1995, the Base Realignment and Closure BRAC Commission selected the 321st Strategic Missile Wing at Grand Forks AFB, North Dakota for deactivation. The 321st Missile Group transferred control of its Minuteman III silos and alert responsibilities to the 341st Missile Wing on 30 September 1998. As a result of the 2005 Quadrennial Defense Review, the 341st Missile Wing deactivated the Minuteman 3WS-133B missile system and subsequent inactivation of the 564th Missile Squadron on 19 August 2008. On 1 December 2009 it was reassigned to the new Air Force Global Strike Command where it remains on duty 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, every day of the year. On 19 April 2016, Col. Ronald G. Allen assumed command of the 341st Missile Wing from Col. Tom Wilcox. Notable incidents In November 2008, the wing failed its nuclear surety inspection, given by the Defense Threat Reduction Agency. The wing again failed the inspection on 9 February 2010. A July 2009 inspection conducted by the Air Force Audit Agency found that 48% of the 711 unused nuclear weapons related materials handled by the wing were incorrectly tracked or recorded. The inspectors primarily faulted the material command, not the wing, for most of the discrepancies. In response to the findings, the wing moved all unused nuclear-related items to a secure storage area and performed a follow-up inventory which accounted for 100% of the items. The 341st failed inspection again in August 2013. 
The wing received an unsatisfactory rating due to tactical level errors made during one of the many exercises during its inspection. In 2014 it was revealed that 34 nuclear missile officers of the wing had been implicated of cheating on their monthly missile launch officer tests. After an investigation, the wing's commander, Colonel Robert Stanley voluntarily resigned and retired from the Air Force. The commander and deputy commander of the operations group, and several subordinate commanders were relieved. Lineage 341st Bombardment Groups instituted as the 341st Bombardment Group Medium on the 14th of August 1942 activated on the 15th of September 1942 redesignated 341st Bombardment Group Medium on the 1st of August 1943 inactivated on the 2nd of November 1945 redesignated 341st Bombardment Group Light and allotted to the reserve activated on the 27 of December 1946 inactivated the 27th of June 1949 consolidated with the 341st strategic missile wing as the 341st strategic missile wing on the 31st of January 1,984,341st missile wing constituted as the 341st bombardment wing medium on the 23rd of March 1953 activated on the 1st of September 1955 Discontinued and inactivated on the 25th of June 1961, redesignated 341st Strategic Missile Wing (ICBM Minuteman) and activated the 1st of July 1961. Not organized, organized on the 15th of July 1961, consolidated with the 341st Bombardment Group on the 31st of January 1984, redesignated 341st Missile Wing the 1st of September 1991. Redesignated 341st Space Wing, the 1st of October 1997. Redesignated 341st Missile Wing, the 1st of July 2008. Topic: Assignments. Topic: Operational components. Group 341st Operations Group, the 1st of September 1991 present squadrons 10th Bombardment Squadron, later 10th Strategic Missile Squadron, the 18th of June 1947 to the 27th of June 1949, the 1st of September 1955 to the 25th of June 1961, the 1st of December 1961 to the 1st of September 1991. 11th Air Refueling Squadron, the 1st of December 1955 to the 1st of June 1960, detached the 19th of December 1956 to the 10th of April 1957, 9 January C, the 4th of April 1958, and the 10th of July to the 26th of September 1958. 11th Bombardment Squadron, the 15th of September 1942 to the 10th of March 1943, detached, the 25th of October 1943 to the 2nd of November 1945, detached until C. The 6th of January 1944, 13 March C. December 1944, the 16th of March to the 1st of August 1945. 12th Bombardment later 12th Strategic Missile Squadron the 24th of July 1947 to the 27th of June 1949 the 1st of September 1955 to the 25th of June 1961 the 1st of March 1962 to the 1st of September 1991 22d bombardment squadron the 15th of September 1942 to the 2nd of November 1945 490th Bombardment Squadron later 490th Strategic Missile Squadron assigned the 15th of September 1942 to the 25th of October 1943 attached the 26th of October 1943 C 
the 7th of January 1944, assigned the 7th of May to the 2nd of November 1945, detached until C. The 25th of August 1945, the 4th of April 1947 to the 27th of June 1949, the 1st of September 1955 to the 25th of June 1961, the 1st of May 1962 to the 1st of September 1991. 491st Bombardment Squadron, the 15th of September 1942 to the 2nd of November 1945, the 5th of June 1947 to the 27th of June 1949, the 1st of November 1958 to the 25th of June 1961. 564th Strategic Missile Squadron, the 1st of April 1966 to the 1st of September 1991. Topic Stations Topic Aircraft and Missiles B twenty five Mitchell nineteen forty two to nineteen forty five A twenty six Invader nineteen forty five B four seven E Stratojet nineteen fifty six to nineteen sixty one KC-97 Stratofreighter 1956-1960 LGM-30A Minuteman I-1962-1964 LGM-30B Minuteman I-1964-1969 LGM-30F Minuteman II 1966-1994 LGM-30G Minuteman 3 1975-present